All right, what's up guys? We're going to do our pop art everyday object drawing based off of Roy Lichtenstein's art. Um, you went through the PowerPoint and seen everything. Now we're going to show you how to do the drawing. I went around the house and found some materials, just found some crowns, uh, some Sharpies, a marker, you know, whatever you have, you can use for this. If you have chalk pastels, you want to do watercolor, anything you can find around your house, feel free to incorporate it into this drawing. Um, remember, this is the main thing for these projects is that you're doing something, you're learning something new, uh, and you're still following through with our art curriculum. Um, so I went through and did a quick sketch. I ended up gridding it out so I didn't fight around with proportions too much. Uh, so you can use the grid drawing tool online that you used in your last projects. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go ahead and follow the links below and it'll teach you how to do that one as well. Um, so I went in quickly with some Sharpie and really tried to get those bold lines that are characteristic of a lot of the pop art, but especially Roy Lichtenstein. And we're really trying to put this Keurig up on a pedestal, you know, give it that portrait feel. Here I'm adding some vertical lines just to again keep with the theme of the Lichtensteins really trying to add some visual interest a little bit of dimension that those are the vertical pieces so I want to try to separate them from the top just to kind of make this Keurig stand out a little more. Here I'm just going to add a little bit of indicators as to where some shine would be straighten that line out. You'll notice I'm making lots of mistakes and I'm just going to back in and clean them back up. You know, you can't start over every time you make a mistake. After you're happy with your inking, go ahead and erase it out. If you're using Sharpie, I always like to erase before I color. And now I'm just going to go with some gray crown. You know, I chose a, not a very colorful object. This one reminds me of the Lichtenstein we saw, the Roto Boil, which was a 1950s kitchen appliance. Um, you can see here we're just kind of coloring everything in. I'm just going quick with the crown. It's actually you know, pretty fun. So make sure you guys are having fun with it. You should not be stressing out with these projects. Uh, my expectations for you are just to try something out. You know, take it seriously, but not so seriously where you're stressing. Uh, you know, use what you have around you and just do the best you can. Here I'm going to add a little red because it was really looking bland. So I do not have red countertops. Uh, nothing against red countertops, but I don't have them. And let's let's make the you know make the mug yellow. Get a little more pop. Stick to that primary color scheme. It was very popular in the pop art movement. Put a little coffee in there. Though I don't really like that color. All right, now I feel like I need some vertical lines, and we're going to put them in the background just to create a little more space. Make sure we can tell that that's a vertical wall behind us, and just to break it up and really make it a little more fun, a little more reminiscent of the pop art movement and a Lichtenstein. Uh, that, that coffee, we're going black. No cream today. All right, there you have it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. And there we go. Take care.